We took the largest sunflower down. Yeah. You said 12 foot. Let's yeah, let's see. I just straight. So 12 foot, 9 inches. 12 Actually, foot, 9 10 inches. inches if you go to here. I've been doing it from there. So 9 inches. 12 foot, 9 we were 14, our largest was 14.7 last year. Yeah. So. A little smaller. But we're a little smaller this year. In the jo in the ballpark. About two foot smaller. Yeah. We're not in the ballpark. <laughs> I have been slowly taking down the sunflowers because most of them are. It's time. Done. What, three? This is the third one. Yeah. So, three weeks in a row, I have filled the big green can here. And there's no sunflowers in this row now. <laughs> Except for the ones at the very end that are in the ground. And there's two that I didn't get all the way because... There was no way I was cutting that. Oh, yeah, that's a tomorrow <laughs> job for me. He's, he's going to cut those tomorrow with the Sawzall. And dig them out. Dig the rip ball out. But most of the sunflowers are done for the season. And most of them are already ate by the birds. Yeah, they made short work of that. <laughs> They've been enjoying them. There's still some on these, so I need to cut them off and lay them in there like I've been doing the others. As I cut them down, I'm just laying them down so that they can grab the seeds out of them. And they'll end up planting some of them for me. Like they do every year. I, I don't really have to plant sunflowers. I haven't done any on this side yet. But they're ready too. This garden season is over. I do got some seeds planted for like cover crops. We'll see if they come up. <laughs> it's been one of those weird years. Some stuff's been coming up and some hasn't. And Pepper tasted a radish and now he keeps trying to eat everything that's green that's close to where the radishes were. <laughs> I still got some sunflowers that haven't flowered yet on this row. That one's opening. That one's done. It was one of these. So far, that's the only ones that have opened is that particular color in this row. And I did plant these. They just got planted late, so they're getting their flowers late. I still have a few tomatoes on my plants. Like I said, I'm leaving the sunflowers down for them. I've been getting cherry tomatoes still. I have um, ground cherries still. And I have tomatillos still. Cucumbers, I think, are pretty much done for the season. They've gotten that kind of mold on them. These here are the zucchinis. And I got literally no zucchinis this year. But, oh well. And our last frost isn't supposed to be till the end of this month. And I don't think that's, I don't know. It, it might get right before then, but we'll see. My amaranth. Isn't that pretty? I love the color. Oh, I love the color. <laughs> it's also my school colors.
and I've been shaking seeds out of it onto the ground because <laughs> I want more of those. Wow, look at the leaves on this sucker. <laughs> Those are huge. I've been eating off of that a little bit, but there's still huge leaves. I still got a few yellow flowers, but most of them look like this. And that's milkweed. That I planted last year that came up finally. I got some volunteer garlic it looks like that I did not plant this year yet. <laughs> this is the month I normally plant it. I think I'm gonna plant it back where the potatoes are after I dig up the potatoes. But they're still not looking like they're ready to pick yet. My walking onions. This is what my cucumbers look like. Oh, there's one on there. I have a cucumber. Two of them, actually. There's one there, too. No, there's two there. Okay, so I still have cucumbers. That one's looking like it's about ready. I got three cucumbers to pick. My sweet potatoes are looking about ready. Oh, there's some tomatoes back here too that are ready to pick. I need to pick some stuff. My greenhouse is all closed up. I'm actually pondering getting rid of the hammock. Because I now have this swing that also lays down for a hammock. So, looking like that's going to be a thing. I think my husband's getting ready to go to work. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.